Monday's news, Monday's news. So a few things to talk about now uh, for Monday's news. Not a lot going on, uh, but I did want to still, even though it's a holiday, I still wanted to uh, give you some Monday smartphone news. Social media, Joe Bill, welcome. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is OnePlus. Now, OnePlus, what are they doing? <laughs> There's some some rumors out there and some information out there that they're starting some kind of thing that's not the same as the invite system, but something of that nature. I didn't search much into it, but I just was like, what is OnePlus doing? Also, they've discontinued their phones. They've already discontinued the OnePlus 3T. What is going on with OnePlus? Like, they used to be a fantastic company at the beginning with the products, that is. They've never done well with launches, in my opinion. However, the OnePlus 3 is already discontinued just because the OnePlus 5 is coming. I don't think that's the way to do business because I just feel like OnePlus is afraid to lose money or they're just afraid to be a full-fledged company, if you will, like other companies. Just because you bring out a new device, you don't have to discontinue every other model. Like, I, I don't understand that. Why not just discount those models and continue to put them into production? And what about the people who need repairs? Are you just making enough just to repair for warranties and things like that? I don't know, OnePlus. I don't know. I'm just not buying this whole thing right now. So, also, there's supposed to be some colors, some different colors. It looks like there's a red, a black, a white, a gold. I don't know. But that's officially from OnePlus Twitter account. So, that's not really a leak. That's an official thing. They, they basically said, what color, you know, OnePlus 5 are you looking at? And they're hinting at a lot of OnePlus 5 things. So there's going to be a OnePlus 5. Uh, I just don't like how they do business, I guess. And <laughs> I can't fully commit to supporting them because of that, you know. They, they're they so, ugh, I, I don't know. They're, they're, they bring out a phone, make 200 copies of it, make 500 copies. Then they sell. It's, it's just like, it's like they're afraid to stay out there and get what every other OEM get, which is like a lot of product return. I've heard bad things about their customer service. And I've, had good, I've heard good things, but... OnePlus, for me, they're not a solid company yet. And that's just my personal opinion. When you look at the, all the previous OnePlus devices, they're all the same, pretty much. They give you different internals, but the hardware is pretty much the same, like on the way it looks and everything. And I said in another video, I think OnePlus, it's time for you guys to do something different. Um, the metal back and glass front, it's getting kind of old. Uh, and, you know, now that I've heard rumors of the price being 550 or above for the OnePlus 5, all you're getting is a Snapdragon uh, 835, Six keys of RAM, probably. After that, you're still getting a 1080p display, probably. You might get a 2K, I don't know. But they're they're just not standing out like they should, like they did before. So OnePlus, get it together, man. Next thing is the Moto line. Uh, the Moto line, the Moto Z line, the Moto Z2 Play, I think it's called. Yeah, someone unboxed that already. Now, um, <laughs> search online, you're, you're definitely going to find it. Um, but Someone unboxed the phone already, and these kind of spoilers right here, they're cool and everything, but I prefer to have some shock and awe of my own. So I haven't watched the unboxing yet, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna try to avoid looking at any unboxings of phones that I plan on purchasing, because it kind of spoils it for me. Even though I'm a reviewer, I like to be excited about my unboxings. I don't follow these kind of unboxings that everybody else does. So, well, not everybody, but most, most of what you see on YouTube is kind of the same. You know it is. So. I don't do that. I try to avoid looking at unboxings and things before on, on devices that I plan on purchasing. So the Moto Z Play 2, somebody unboxed it already. <laughs> just ahead of launch. They just, they unboxed it. They were like, we're just going to do it. So it's what it is. The Moto line is getting ready to shake up the industry, I think. Now, meaning they're bringing out a phone in all these different categories. Now, they don't, it doesn't seem like they're having anything like the Snapdragon 835 and all that. But as long as they stay with the tried and true Snapdragon 625 and they can bring out whatever hardware and batteries and screens they want, it's going to work. If they, if they stay in the 600 series, the Snapdragon 652, you can you didn't get a 2K display, you know, and things like that. So I, I don't know. I just think the Moto line has always been impressive. I have several Moto devices and I've purchased a lot of Moto devices and I feel like Motorola does it right. Uh, with pricing and the software, and I feel like they do it right with the overall product itself. They seem to be selling complete packages at very low prices, and that is important to a lot of people. So keep that in mind. There is a leak out there, like a real, like a real unboxing of the phone. I'm not gonna watch it though. So do your research, and you'll find it. Trust me. Um, next up, uh, Samsung has. If you order the unlocked version of the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, me, 
you can officially, you can officially expect your device on Tuesday. That is when my phone is going to arrive, so I'll have an unboxing for you of the unlocked official Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus on my channel. So all those people that kept asking, are you getting the Plus, are you getting the Plus? I said that in multiple videos, but I guess they just missed it. And so I, I pre-ordered the Galaxy S8 Plus uh, with the, um, from directly from Samsung because I bought my other Galaxy S8 from Samsung. So I'll have tons of footage, like cases and all these kind of things, and tell you how I feel about it, first impressions, all that kind of junk. You know, you know how it is when we do, we get something new, even though that phone is only about a month old, it seems old already, right? <laughs> it's kind of weird because uh, there's so much footage out there on it. I even have a ton of footage on the regular, on the small one. So the uh, Samsung has officially started to ship your device if you have uh, ordered, if you pre-ordered. Another thing is now, like when I ordered, when I did the pre-order, you had to have it in before May 24th. And I ordered as soon as it was available, like on May 6th or something like that, or May 5th. That's when I ordered mine. And at that time, they were giving away that $60 folio case, the Clearview case. They were giving away a 64 gig SD card. And they were also giving away six months of Netflix. So that's the promotion that I got with mine. Now, when you buy the SA the SA Plus, instead of paying 230 or 40 bucks for that 360 camera, the new one, they're giving it to you for 49 bucks. So that's something to keep in mind. Next, iPhone. iPhone 8. September is what we're looking like. September announcement and October release. Same routine. Um, there's some documentation that leaked out. You know, Apple employees will leak out anything. Uh, they leaked out the, you know, Apple blocks out dates for vacation. You know, that's all that it was. So pretty much in September, we're going to see our official uh, Gal uh, iPhone 8. Uh, or whatever it's going to be called, X, I don't know. We're going to see what it's exactly like because I've done a lot of research on it myself and there's a lot of different things out there. That the schematics that I keep coming up with is the the back of the phone where the Apple logo is not going to be a fingerprint reader, which to me would just be flawless and a lot. I think all of you guys think so too. Instead, I see a fingerprint reader under that. I don't know what's going on with that, but um, they, they do show a full screen though. So maybe they're going to do a 6.2-inch display, too, finally, or a 6-inch display. Who knows? To compete with the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. However, what we do know is that Samsung uh, is kind of leading the way with that 6.2-inch display. It's impressive. Uh, and I'll get my chance to experience it finally. Uh, one of my own will be here tomorrow. So um, look for a, a video unboxing on that tomorrow. I will be doing an unboxing on the 30th when I get that bad boy in the mail because I want to start using it and checking it out, at least setting it up. Uh, but... They're going to compete with Samsung. They're going to compete with Samsung. So uh, hopefully Apple does something new and gives us more. I'm not expecting them to change their entire operating system, but that operating system just feels a little dated. It is fast. It is fluid. It is stable. Uh, but it does have its own problems, too. iPhones have problems like every other operating system. So Monday smartphone news. Uh, you guys leave a comment. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed your holiday. You ate some barbecue or whatever you do on these holidays. Go to church, celebrate with your family, whatever you do. I hope you're enjoying it, and stay tuned for more smartphone news. Uh, it's your man, Jay Will. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.